The Prague Castle is one of the most significant historical landmarks in Prague and is considered one of the largest castles in the world. It stands majestically on a hill overlooking the city and is the symbolic heart of the Czech Republic. The history of Prague Castle dates back to the 9th century when it was established as a fortress. Over the centuries, it has been rebuilt, expanded, and renovated. Prague Castle is not only a historical and cultural site but also a living entity. It remains the official residence of the President of the Czech Republic and serves as a venue for important state events and ceremonies. The castle complex also houses various museums, galleries, and exhibition spaces that showcase the rich history and art of the Czech Republic. The history and significance of Prague Castle extend beyond its architectural splendor. It has witnessed important events, including the defenestration of Prague in 1618, which triggered the Thirty Years' War. It has also been a symbol of Czech independence and resistance during various periods of foreign occupation. Today, Prague Castle continues to captivate visitors with its grandeur and historical importance. Exploring its vast grounds, admiring the stunning architecture, and immersing oneself in the rich history and culture of the Czech Republic is an unforgettable experience. It is important to note that Prague Castle is a popular tourist attraction, and it can get crowded, especially during peak seasons. To make the most of your visit, it is recommended to plan your trip in advance, consider purchasing tickets in advance, and allocate enough time to explore the various buildings, gardens, and exhibitions within the castle complex. A visit to Prague Castle offers a journey through time, allowing visitors to delve into centuries of Czech history, marvel at architectural masterpieces, and soak in the awe-inspiring atmosphere of this iconic landmark.
Já não foi assassinado, deu para ir. The Charles Bridge is one of the most famous landmarks in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. It stretches across the Voltava River, connecting the old town with the Mala Strana district. The construction of the Charles Bridge began in 1357 under the rule of King Charles IV and was completed in the early 15th century. It was originally built as a stone bridge and served as a crucial link between Eastern and Western Europe. The bridge spans approximately 516 meters and consists of 16 arches adorned with 30 beautiful Baroque statues.
Ještě v takovém rozkvětu a tak je vyrutá, nebo tak správně, aby, aby, aby to bylo heraldický obsah. To znamená, my nevíme, proč máme dva obsah. Ne, to je ještě ten The most famous statue is that of St. John of Nepomuk, located on the eastern side of the bridge. It is believed that touching the statue brings good luck. The Charles Bridge is not only an architectural marvel, but also a lively place filled with activities. It is often bustling with street artists, musicians, and souvenir vendors. The view from the bridge is breathtaking, especially during sunrise or sunset when the Prague Castle and other historic buildings are bathed in golden light. Throughout the centuries, the Charles Bridge has witnessed numerous events and is an integral part of Prague's history.
It was damaged by the Swedes during the Thirty Years' War, but later restored. Today, the Charles Bridge remains a popular meeting point for locals and tourists alike. As a pedestrian-only bridge, it offers a splendid vantage point to take in the city's beauty and serves as a gateway to various historical attractions, such as Prague Castle, the Old Town Square, and the Lesser Town. The Charles Bridge stands as a symbol of Czech history and culture and is an essential attraction for those exploring Prague. Its architectural grandeur, stunning statues, and the vibrant atmosphere make it a must-visit destination for travelers from around the world.
Ne, ne prosím vás to? The astronomical clock of Prague is one of the oldest and most famous astronomical clocks in the world. It is located on the tower of the Old Town Hall in the historic center of Prague and is a popular tourist attraction. The clock was built in 1410 by clockmaker Mikulas of Caden in collaboration with astronomer and mathematician Jan Sindel. It consists of several parts that together form a combination of an astronomical clock, calendar, and figurative spectacle. The astronomical clock features a central dial that displays the movement of the sun and moon, along with a series of mechanical figures that come to life every hour. The most well-known figures are the Twelve Apostles, who appear in sequence from two small windows. The spectacle of the Apostles is initiated by a golden rooster that crows, followed by the movement of the figures. 
Each figure has a unique gesture representing their personality. It is fascinating to observe the mechanical motions as the apostles pass by. The astronomical clock also includes a sundial, a zodiacal ring with the signs of the zodiac, and indicators for the positions of the sun and moon. Considering the age of the clock and the technological capabilities at the time, it is remarkable how accurately it depicts astronomical information. The astronomical clock of Prague is not only a technical masterpiece, but also a symbol of the connection between science, art, and culture. It has survived many centuries, although it has undergone restoration and repairs throughout its history. The clock also has an intriguing legend that says the clockmaker Mikulas of Cadden was blinded after completing the clock so that he could never build a similarly impressive clock again. This legend adds a certain mystical aura to the astronomical clock. Today, the astronomical clock of Prague is one of the most important landmarks of the city. Every hour, tourists gather in the old town square to witness the spectacle of the figures and hear the sound of the rooster. It is an impressive experience that reflects the history and heritage of Prague. Thank <laughs> you. 